All right, guys, this is going to be a weird account review for a fellow whale. He was wondering why he wasn't getting enough points in the event domain. So this could be one of the videos that will not really benefit the FTPs, but it will probably give you guys a good idea on where you should be spending your resource on, okay? Let's take a look at the constellations. We have C6 Ito, C2 Albedo, nice. C6 only, C0 Kazuha, that's weird. Um, C6 Xiao. C6 Jin, that's obvious, right? C6 Shinha, C6 Yula, C6 Kanyu, Ayaka, Yaimiko, Raiden Shogun! Oh my god, this is exciting. C6 Ayato. It's really rare for me to see another OWL player asking for uh, help, you know? C2 Hu Tao. Uh, C6 Deluxe, C0 Venti, okay. And this guy also has C6 Chichio, obviously. C0 Kokomi, Child C3. Okay, alright, I see. We're gonna go straight to the event domain and try to do things and kinda analyze the problem, okay? So, one thing about his Kazuha is that his Kazuha is C0, which is totally fine, but as a whale, that is not acceptable. If you were to see six of like DPS characters, I would like to say that C2 Kazuha is actually very needed. Okay, so what should I do? Well, for the fourth day, let's take a look at. Huh? Okay, the problem is that he used Zhongli. Zhongli takes a lot of time. The rotation kind of kills. Okay, this guy also used Jin as a healer. Nice. But I would like to put Ayato with Raiden Shogun. Yaimiko, Bennett in the second half. We can put Kazuha in the first half, okay? Uh, Alright, let's go. Let's go first. A very satisfying Ayato damage. I'm assuming that this is a R5 weapon. Powerful opponent appears in 5 seconds. Keep my eyes on the timer. This is gonna be the final wave, right? What is he doing here? All we would need is 3k in the first half. Dude, Jean is a f***ing queen for this round. Once out that Wolper Flower, nice. Okay, we got a uh, 3,000. Nice. All right, you might be wondering why I'm not using Kazuha Zolt, but his Kazuha is probably not DPS, and he doesn't have C2, okay? That is exactly why I did not try to use his ult. If I have enough damage to kill those without using 5-star ultimate, then that is a better move, you know? Oh, please die. Oh, yes. Oh, satisfying. We have enough damage. Oh, 
Okay, 8.7k. <laughs> your problem was your team. You shouldn't be using Zhongli. I know Zhongli is a solid character. When it comes to damage, a mid character. We want consistent damage. Like, for example, your Ganyu is doing enough damage to small monsters. Zhongli is great, but his E damage is not strong enough to severely damage them. And I believe you probably have built him for... Actually, no. Your Zhongli is not even, like, built as a burst support. Burst support is supposed to be, like, crit weight, critical damage. Your characters are really well built. I don't even need to take a look at their stats, but I will take a look at it just because. Kazuha, full EM build, very, very f***ing nice. But for this event, I kind of felt like building him as a DPS was more beneficial. Because, you know, there's something called a diminishing return. And if you have 1000 EM, then of course you're going to be adding 40% damage bonus, right? But from the harmony buff, from the event domain, they give you a lot of bonus. So rather than going for full EM, I went for a hybrid. I focused on critical rate, critical damage, and then went with 400 EM. It's kind of sad that we can't really use Ito in this domain. And uh, although it's very satisfying to use C6 Ito for this domain, you need better rotations, you need a burst damage, and then you need the right element. So I kind of felt like we needed more Hydro character. <laughs> so it turns out for this kind of event, it was good enough to convince us that Ayato is quite useful in certain situations. However, Mihoyo, we know what you're doing. You're just trying to make us, the spenders, feel better, right? This is something for whales only. You have to have enough damage, you need to have a lot of characters, you have to have like all 5 star weapons, and uh, well besides that, it's just gonna feel like you're doing a lot of Spirit Abyss, except you have like a lot of buff and it gives you a lot of Primal Gems. <laughs> Honestly speaking, it is really, really nice for Genshin Impact to let us experience something like this. And I hope this will kind of become like a feature in one of the new Abyss series. Because instead of making it so that the bonus is more inclined to the banner character, right? They can probably come up with different floors, like a bonus floors. So that everyone can just kind of have a lot of fun instead of getting stressed out about how your supports are not really leveled or not geared up, you know? Four-star artifacts and their weapons. Ah... All right, so his questions regarding to his supports. Let me see, Bennett. Wow, all right. So you don't want to see a imbalanced crit rate critical damage here. We always want to follow that one to two ratio. So if this was 191% critical damage, I'm expecting about 80% crit rate, but you don't have that. Your weapon is Aquila Favonia, which I understand because you don't want to go for another copy of Miss Splitter, of course, right? Let me take a look at your constellation. We have C6 Bennett. We have a winner! <laughs> all right, so... Because you have Aquila Favonia instead of something else, you probably had kind of gave up on his damage, right? Because, yeah, exactly. Bennett is great, like this as well, but I think it's a waste of stats. This is a usable circlet, obviously, but what if we look for something that has crit rate and critical damage that happens to be noblesse? You don't have a lot of critical rate circlets. Okay. Well, like I said, we we're looking at noblesse oblige set, right? So while you're using strongbox content, there is a good chance that you can get critical rate circlet that happens to be somewhat useful. So you can probably fix that later on because Bennett does a lot of damage. And obviously Aquila Favonia is not going to be that great because it gives you physical damage bonus, right? This is more for a copium chichi or a physical kicking. I don't know, man. Aquila Favonia is so copium. It just looks really, really awesome. Look at this sword, dude. It looks badass. It looks like one of those sword from like Gundam, dude. That is fucking sexy. If that was ER, I know, right? If that was ER, that would have been super fucking nice. Anyways, there is Bennett. Sing Chu, you have Sex Sword. Why is your Sex Sword level 60? We want to go for level 90 always, you know? 
11%. Okay, it seems like you're not using Sing Chu. Sing Chu is going to help you out a lot, except for whales, right? You do not use a lot of the Melt and Vaporize team. You just go with like Unga Bunga, right? Okay, to be honest, uh, there's Raiden Shogun and, you know, Ganyu, Yula, Ito. There's also Yoimiya. Yoimiya uses C6 Fischl more than uh, Sing Chu. And there's also Yai Miko. Yai Miko is fucking amazing. Her damage is like, <laughs> it's like Raiden Shogun level, you know? So I can't really force you to go for Sing Chu anymore, but you still have Fu Tao, right? Okay, well, you don't use your Fu Tao. Okay, don't use Sing Chu then. Although he's triple S tier, in my honest opinion, you don't need to use Sing Chu. Let's take a look at Fischl. Oh my God. Uh, are you not using Yoimiya? You have built your Yoimiya. If that is the case, I suggest you try to build up your Fischl and try to use Yoimiya. That also gives you a lot of fun. Fischl doesn't need to be crazy. You can oh, Okay, this is like a hybrid build. Mitternaut's Waltz is like one of the shittiest bow ever. Like a biggest debate. You probably have used this if by any chance if you have built your Fischl as a physical. You could have probably done a showcase on the event domain. They give you a lot of normal attack damage, right? If that's the case, you can use Fischl. But you know what I mean, right? We always want to follow 1 to 2 ratio. And like I said, if you uh, refer to one of the videos, I'm going to repeat again here, but you always want to try to get the highest CV artifacts possible. If that is the case, if you use anything that has like 40 CV, and that's going to be really great. You don't need somebody else to look at it. Okay, how about the Yona? Huh? Are you not using um, Shinho? I saw your Shinho at uh, C6. If you have C6 Shinho, you can also try out the Mono Cryo team that I have showcased before. And it works out really great. We have 59% crit rate, 192% critical damage. If you use this with Shinho, then this is usable totally. But if you want to use Rosaria for perhaps like Eula, right? If that is the case, you want to go for 100% crit rate so that you can give more crit bonus to your teammates. But also with the Cryo Resonance and uh, Rosaria buff, your Diona will probably crit here and there, so you can still use that. You have a high critical damage compared to your critical rate, so that's also going to be great. We are using Stringless. You don't want to use Stringless. You want to go for either Sekbo or Favonius Warbo. And that is all I gotta say. You have R2 Step of Homa on Shangling. You probably felt like, what the f am I doing here? Why am I spending my money in Genshin Impact? And stop there, right? You probably have a R5 Step. Oh, what the f? This is the highest. You did the right thing. You stopped. Don't spend too much in Genshin Impact. You can go for a C6 character and an R1 weapon. That would be like the max. And you would probably spend about $1,500 per month. And that is more than good enough. Lastly, we can take a look at your Sara. Oh. Okay, Skyward Harp. Great choice because Skyward Harp has the highest base attack of all the bows, I believe. Right? 674. Because your attack buff is coming from the base attack, of course. And then another thing. You don't need to give her like crazy artifacts. Just like Bennett, right? You don't have to have crazy crit rate and critical damage. However... Same logic with Benny, right? Her Q damage is quite crazy. If you're using Kujo Sara on a hyper carry Yae Miko team, holy shit. Her Q also does like 300k. It is crazy. And you don't need to have attack percentage set, but if that's the only thing you have, then you can kind of keep that. That's gonna be it for this little review for my Veil viewer. I hope you guys had a lot of fun. If you guys want to uh, kind of get more tips on the F2P side, you can probably go to my account review playlist. You can probably find it on the comment here. And thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you guys next time. Adios.